Hi, it's Tony Buck. I'm going to enclose these two beds with a cold frame. Now, cold frames, you know, aren't very special. There's some uh, Savoy cabbage, Swiss chard. I got some green peppers in there. But what I did was I used this uh, cattle fencing for the top. That's my little innovation here. Stretching the plastic over the metal fencing to give me a snow load so the plastic won't fall in. Here's the metal fencing. It comes in f about four foot by 16 foot pieces. I usually cut it at the hardware store with bolt cutters. And there's some plastic ties to hold the plastic to the fencing. So here's the basic frame, two by threes. I just screw them together with three inch drywall screws toe nailed in. And uh, as you can see, nothing special there. A little bit of a slope. There's a little, um, uh, addition there with some studs that's to hold the top on so it doesn't slip off on the slope that's all that's for I'm thinking it might not blow away but if it needs a weight on top I'll put something on top there it is fully wrapped I'm using a slap stapler just to um, hold the plastic to the wood wrap it around you can use a regular stapler opening up and just bang it you know so there's that piece that I was talking about that just wrap the plastic around there that's going to come in handy later on. There it is fully wrapped, just roughly at the top and staple it down. There, that's what it looks like. Okay, you can see those studs sticking up, which stops the slope from letting the tops fall off. But they also came in for some other reason. And if you look in a minute, uh, you can't always design everything. You discover things as you go along. And what we discovered here was we could use those little stubs sticking up to put the top on. See, when I go to work, it gets too hot in there, so I just lift the tops up and put them on top of the studs. There it is. But listen, if you don't want to go to all this trouble, just get some plastic pipe, bend it over in your thing, throw on some plastic with some weights around, and you'll get a little harvest like this every couple of weeks or a week through the winter. See ya.